Are all my fellow T-Rexers ready to hear more about Terry and his friends? He just came off a very successful presentation to his teachers and other grown-ups. Now he has something else in store. Let's get right to it as mom and dad head on out. Terry has been riding high since he and Mr. Spackle gave their presentation to the school's faculty. One of the teachers, Mrs. Slocum, gave him some feedback and suggestions for sharing with the student body. After making those additions and changes, he was ready for the big day. And today just happened to be that day. During lunch, Terry and Mr. Spackle gobbled down a sandwich and an apple, then went to work setting up their cue cards that help explain various aspects of T-Rex and associated disorders. They defined what a tick is, how it feels, and the different types, being motor and vocal. They also showed the difference between simple and complex ticks, and even something they called mental ticks. They made sure they covered as much as they could so that when they were done, everyone would have a good knowledge and understanding of Tourette's syndrome. Ozzy and Andy even decided to jump in and included some slides of their own that described the disorders that they have each have and how they're affected. They were ready to help explain why the three were such good friends and how each other's disorders ended up being magnified when combined with each other. This presentation really meant something to the three and Mr. Spackle. It was their moment to shine. With everything set up and ready to go, Terry paced behind the curtain and tried to get all his ticks out before he started. But that was just impossible as there's no way to get rid of them. He could hear everyone piling into the auditorium after the lunch bell sounded. Mr. Marks, the principal, he was set to open the curtain and gave the countdown. Three... Two, one. He opened the curtain, and to Terry's surprise, Mr. Spackle set up some music to play as Terry walked to the podium. He wasn't expecting all that fanfare and was slightly thrown off a bit. He gained his composure. Then he started with the presentation. There were a few hecklers in the crowd, but some swift action from the teachers put an end to that. Everything went according to plan, and after the group was finished, the auditorium was silent. Then slowly, and to his surprise, a slow clap began. And it was from the older kid who started shooting spit wads at Terry on the bus a few weeks ago. Within seconds, the entire auditorium was filled with thunderous applause. Their presentation changed everyone's perception of Terry and his friends. Instantly, they transformed from outcasts into heroes. That doesn't always happen, but the three friends and Mr. Spackle were amazed at the reception they had from everybody. They exchanged high fives and fist bumps on stage while the applause settled down. Terry looked out into the audience and noticed the spitballer walking to the stage. He wasn't sure what to think as the older kid jumped up on the stage. He walked up to Terry, and he whispered something to him. Then he grabbed the microphone. With tears in his eyes, he gave a short speech. My name is Biff. A couple of weeks ago, I treated Terry horribly on the bus, and I was shooting spit wads at him. I thought it was funny and cool to pick on someone smaller and different. I was wrong, and Terry... I want to apologize to you in front of everyone. I'm sorry for humiliating you and treating you like you didn't matter. You're a bigger person than me and than all of us. What you go through every day is way more than I can comprehend or deal with myself. The two shook hands and Terry accepted his apology. Biff grabbed Terry's hand and raised it in the air like the winner of a boxing match. Here's a real champion! If you ever need anything, you give me a shout. Nobody will ever pick on you again as long as I have anything to say about it. With that, a new beginning emerged for Terry, his friends Ozzy and Andy, and Biff. And something else was in store <laughs> for Mr. Spackle as he was blindsided with a hug from Miss Osgood. But that's another story. As mentioned before, 
Being brave and stepping forward to share information with others isn't easy, but it can make great changes in many people, including oneself. This story may seem a little dramatic or far-fetched, but many times we do see drastic changes in someone's perception and attitude when they know the facts. I hope this series is providing some inspiration for many to step forward and share with others as they learn more about Tourette Syndrome and other disorders that are so often misunderstood. Knowledge is power. Use it to make great changes. Fist bump, guys. Bang. This is Megalodon saying, bye for now. Later, tater. <laughs>